Киров репорты. Hello, comrades. There's nothing better than starting a new day with a couple divine drops. So, now we can finally buy fresh ferals fur. So, finally finished second quest, still have no clue where can I find this stronghold. And I really don't want to use TFT. Just found out about this new charm that gives us free banner. Flat crit, free fortify, and maximum rage looks cool too. Just look at this Gigo Omega Wand. That's why I always check every single rare in Ritual. Here's my Pantheon. We don't have any source of elemental ailment dodge, yet, that's why we need anti-freeze. Well, since we got some currency, it's time to spend it. So, we have to use 5 Link Ferals for, for now. Hopefully not for long. I don't want to use swap method anymore, it's just too scuffed. That's why, Red Blade Banner is now our main shield. Our left click is now Endring Cry, which gives us tons of life regeneration, perma endurance charges, and, of course, perma rage, with this charm. And since we use shield, it will be cool to have maximum shield block. So first of all, we need one handed sword. Found this one, with fractured 158 increased physical damage. We're not gonna spend too much, since tempered foil base is bad. So let's just use couple flat physical damage essences. Four hundred forty-four PDPS, not bad for now. We also need new gloves. Tahuani is really good, but I hate that this gloves don't have perma adrenaline. Maybe I will change my mind later. But right now. We need crafted gloves, with impale and frenzy charge. First of all, we need warlord gloves. And find frenzy charge mod. And spike gloves with hunter influence. Find impale mod. And now we can combine it with awakener's orb. Well, absolute trash gloves. Bear's Grid, best in slot belt for this build. Feral's Helmet, since aspect of the cat beast is too expensive right now. New Ring, with life, resistance, and accuracy rating. New Amulet, Global Crit Multiplier, life, and resistance. Also this new replica badge of the Brotherhood looks perfect for this build, since we have Perma Endurance Charges, with Red Blade Banner and Enduring Cry. We'll try it later for sure. Resistance, capped. Block, capped. DPS, less. Well, using 5 Link Ferals fur was not the best idea. But at least now we have good frenzy charge sustain. Never lucky. Alright, maybe sometimes lucky. I can definitely understand what's happening on the screen. So yeah, let's finally make our ferals for 6 linked. Perfect. Also, we need new gems. 
and new weapon, jeweled foil this time, perfect sword base, with 150% fractured physical damage. With this base, we can spend more money. So first, let's make it at least 28 quality. Good. And, as always, spam deafening essence of contempt. We need D1 hybrid, or attack speed mods. Well, not bad, but not good. This ain't over. It's definitely an upgrade, but could be better. Now we can safely farm tier 16 maps, DPS might be not that big, but effective hit pool is huge. Finally finished my last map, and here is my final tree. As always, Ritual, Expedition, Harbinger, and Smuggler's Cache. By the way, can't wait to try new heist, new rewards items looks cool. So yeah, so far, we pretty satisfying. Build is kinda unkillable, and has solid amount of DPS, and most importantly, Giga Fast, we'll see how it goes. And also, if you like this video, leave a like, or comment, or both, see ya in the next videos, comrades. Never existed.